individuals with mental health um, challenges in Nigeria face um, so many challenges, both at the individual level and at the institutional level. Um, to begin with, people with mental health challenges um, have problems that are not well understood um, by their society, by their family members and friends. And at the institutional level, there are not enough facilities um, to provide services for people that have mental health challenges. There are certainly um, several myths around um, mental health in Nigeria. To start with, there is a, a very general misunderstanding of what mental health means in Nigeria. I mean, people just seem to have, well, not everybody, um, but a lot of people um, seem to have a very myopic and single-minded idea of, of what mental health is and specifically what mental health challenges are. Um, for instance, people tend to think that if someone has a mental health challenge, that they're crazy or mad. These are um, words that, you know, are very, very commonly used, you know, all across the country. However, um, mental health challenges are just like physical health challenges, right? So when you have a physical health challenge, it can range from, you know, mere headache um, to cancer, for instance. And this is the exact same thing with mental health challenges. Um, it can range from a, a slight um, sort of mild mental health challenge um, to full-blown psychosis, um, for instance. Um, so this is one of them. Another huge myth, um, which can be very problematic, is the idea of spirit possessions. People tend to think that people that have mental health challenges are possessed um, by evil spirits, right? And so when you approach the problem as such, thinking that, you know, someone suffering from a mental health challenge is possessed by a, a, an evil spirit, right? What would your reaction be? Your reaction would be to seek a spiritual healer. Um, you know, that will chase the um, demonic spirits away, um, which um, is not the case at all. Um, if someone has a mental health challenge, they are meant to go to a practitioner or psychologist or counselor or a psychiatrist, as, as a case might be. I think the, the major gaps um, with regards to policy um, about mental health in Nigeria is really the implementation um, and this is very, very general across many policies um, in Nigeria. We have several policies, we have several laws and several acts, but the implementation um, is the problem. Um, is there anything I want people living with a mental health challenge to know? Um, certainly, there are various things um, I would like them to know. Um, the first um, is that it's okay to not be okay. And in difficult situations, it is only natural for you to be anxious or to, for you to be stressed or depressed, whatever the case might be. Um, if you are facing extraordinary circumstances and you don't react to it, um, that's not okay. You know, that's out of the ordinary. However, if you're reacting to extraordinary circumstances, you know, by feeling anxious, stressed or depressed, um, don't feel funny about it. It is perfectly natural and you are wired to react that way. It, however, only becomes problematic when it carries on and affects your functionality. If you find yourself going through this, um, seek help as soon as you can. There are many people with different levels of mental health challenges um, that don't feel safe enough um, to talk about it for various reasons. Um, they feel, for instance, that they could be ridiculed in their communities. Um, they feel they could be called crazy by friends and family members. And some people even have concerns that they might lose their jobs um, if they open up in, in their place of work. The recommendations I have for the provision of mental health care um, in Nigeria is, um, first of all, I think we need a, a broad sensitization campaign um, in the country um, to really educate people what mental health challenges are, you know, and how normal um, they are um, for individuals. Um, and also we need a, a broad advocacy um, in the country, encouraging people to seek help whenever they feel um, they might need help. Um, we need a sensitization campaign to address the stigmatization that people face for seeking um, redress for mental health um, challenges. Uh, we need a broad sensitization campaign to reassess our approach to people that have mental health challenges. 
Um, no matter who you are, you deserve basic human rights. It's absolutely unacceptable to chain people down for whatever reason. And you find this uh, in several places right across the country. It might not be so common in urban areas, but it's pretty rampant in so many rural areas. We need to understand all across the country that in no circumstance whatsoever should someone be chained down as a result of mental health issues. We need to find the right approaches um, to specific problems. If someone has a mental health problem, we need to seek mental health professionals rather than spiritual professionals. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> Mind over matter. To find out more about NIM Foundation, please visit the website www.nimfoundation.org.ng.